Hi, I'm Switch, and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to customize this pair of this pair of Calvin Klein jeans. If you're interested, stay tuned. If you're not, just go. Okay, so it's been about a week now, right, since we've seen the beginning footage clip of me starting this whole thing. Mm -hmm. But this, shut the hell up, Alexa. But this is the final outcome of the, here's the back, right, you just see, see those spots. I think I showed footage clips of me doing this, if not they're up here. But if not, I'm going to be quiet again. So as I was making these pants, I started with going over and sewing on the pocket right on the side. It took me a minute to actually like start it. It was a little, a little difficult, but once it, once I got it, it kind of just like just went through, you know. From there, I had I started to dye it. That process kind of sucked, right? I filled up the gallon. I filled up this big clear bucket inside of my shower with really hot water and I grabbed the ingredients which was um, the dye solution and dish detergent but I do not have dish detergent I just have soap so I, I threw pumps of soap into it from the pumps of soap I kind of just mixed it while wearing a glove so I didn't get any of the dye on my hands and I like put the pants in, just like at the legs. I marked them originally, like I wore the pants and then I marked them at a line so then I knew where to put them. So I let them soak for a day. The next day I went over, I took them out, I dumped the bucket into my shower, kind of staining my shower, but whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. From there, I went over and I put the pants up on the hook in my shower and I sprayed that bitch. I sprayed that pair of pants so heavily because you're just supposed to spray it until all the dye kind of comes out until it's clear. So I did that. I washed it because you're supposed to like wash it. Um, just to make sure nothing comes out anymore, I guess. I don't know. But it says to wash it when doing the dyeing process and then it came out like it didn't come out as dark it didn't come out like pure black it was still like slightly blue it was really really dark blue so I went over I did it again I bought more <laughs> dye solution poured that bucket with really hot water and this time I doubled it up though I got two things of the dye and I poured it both in there got some more soap sprayed it got some more salt, poured it because you're supposed to pour salt in like a tablespoon of salt. So I put like table, two tablespoons, I think. I don't know, but I mixed it. From there, I went over and put the pants back in. I let that sit for a day. This time I would like adjust it more, make sure it's more flat than I did the first time. Just so then I didn't want to do this again. Like I'm already doing it the second time. I was just like gonna really do it. So. Uh, I did that, and then I went over after letting it die for another fucking day. I went over, took it out, dumped the bucket, hosed it off again until it was clear, washed it, dried it. From there, I went over and I started painting it. Now, mind you, I'm sorry. I don't have footage of me originally starting this painting process because I kind of was just like, busy that day and I just kind of did it without thinking about recording it. It wasn't until after and I needed to do like finishing touches that was like oh shit I didn't even record it from the beginning but here you go uh, here's me doing finishing touches and I'm painting it you know I got it's a mixture of downy fabric softener and black acrylic paint. Um, I read that it was supposed to be like 
softer to the touch, not as hard and brutal than regular acrylic paint. It could make sense, but I don't know. It was a little harder to get like on, but I see what they mean. It's not nearly as like not the same texture. It kind of just bleeds more into the fabric instead of just being layered on top of the fabric like acrylic does. So I painted it a little spider one. Look at that. It's all black. And it kind of just goes into the black gradient. Nice. From there I start distressing it just because I want distressing on my fan. So I set up my Dremel tool and I just start going. I kind of already have like a, a reference idea of what I want to do. I took a picture on my iPhone and then like sketched out where I want it to be distressed. I try to do this with a lot of my pieces now so that I don't fuck up as heavy and, <laughs> and I have a better sense of what I'm actually doing. iPhone. I was kidding. But I'm sure you can do it with any other fucking like Android phone. I just use photo. That's besides the point. Yeah, I start distressing at the points that I marked it. I kind of like just feel it out a little bit. Like it's just a rough sketch of where I want everything to be at. So I kind of just just go at it. Just distressing away with the Dremel tool. I have a sandpaper tip on it, and. I realized in the middle of it, like throughout this process, that the sandy paper tip eventually, like, it's not the best. Sustain, like, you go through so many tips that you can do the same thing with the stone tip. I didn't know this at first, like, I'm learning as I'm doing this still, but you can learn from me. So use the stone tip. You don't break, they don't run out. They don't fly off. It's nice. But the stone too. So, whatever. I went over, distressed them, I dried them, and washed them, and wore them for a day. Then I was like, I don't like all this distressing on it. I want it more distressed. So, here I am again. I'm back at it with the Dremel tool, just distressing away. Just enhancing the spots that I did before. I'm kind of pulling at some of the fabric just so that it frays. That's the whole thing. I want it to fray more. And I think I got that done. I like the fraying just because I fidget a lot and it's something that I fucking I mess with. It's cool. Let me know if you do though. You can't be the only one, right? Yeah. That's how I went and did the pants. Now they're here. Okay, so these are the pins from the front side now. Got spider web, the distressing, the side pocket. I love these side pockets so much. So useful. So nifty to just like my phone in. I love that shit. I love that shit so much. So I put distressing on the pocket too. Along with, wait, where's the pocket? So there's the pocket. Put distressing on the pocket. I don't know why I'm holding up, holding it up so high. Here. Okay. So here's the pocket now. It's distressing on it. I made it so then it would be distressed on the corner, on both corners of the top and bottom on the left side. But I didn't do anything on the right side corner. But that's just because I don't like it. If it get if I distress it too much on both sides, then it's like. My phone starts to slip through the shit, and then I possibly lose my phone to the floor. I don't like that. But I distress the waistline too. The knees. And as you can see throughout the whole pant, there's now a gradient of black. I, once you get below the knee line. Let's see. And I try to make it so then the black on the spider web 
would go over and kind of bleed into it, at least like at the bottom here. It's just like a clean transition. There's the stressing on the butt pocket too, right here, not just the side pocket. Kind of similar to stressing. This one's less distressed. I distressed the this like this back leg a lot more than I did the back leg on this one. But on the front side, I think I did it reverse. Pretty confident I did it reverse. I don't see it, but it's slightly, slightly on the the one that was heavy on the back, and then did it more heavy on the front for for here, which isn't like too much heavier. My little finger goes. <laughs> um, shit. Here's the obvious knee blowout. If I was to redo these again, I think I would probably wait to do the dying till after I distressed it. Because once I started distressing it, it would distress. It would like shred off the dye that's on the fabric. It would kind of just make it fade away naturally. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I just want to, when I initially did these, I actually wanted it to be like this, just a solid black. But now that I distressed portions of it on the black, there's like, you can see the original color of the denim. Let's see how it looks with this that I'm wearing right now. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I like them. Yeah. No, I like them. I'm gonna have some footage go by of me wearing the pants. Right about now. That's it. If you like the pants, let me know. Because I spent a minute working on them. I want some feedback. Shit. <laughs> but, otherwise, let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, if you don't want to like, let me know what you thought of the pants. Leave a like. Subscribe. Until next time, there it goes. Peace.